Financial Breakthrough Prayer Are you financially challenged? Are you without means to satisfy your financial needs? Do you need more money to live your dream life? Or are you at a financial fix? Are you uncertain about God's will concerning you and your finance? If those are your situation, this clip and prayer is for you. And by the time we are done, a new you will emerge. In the name of Jesus. Contrary to the erroneous belief of many a believer, that God has little or no interest in believers' financial prosperity. That is not true. As a matter of fact, God actually has premium interest in believers' financial prosperity and financial well-being. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, God tells the Israelites, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. You see that? That financial breakthrough is a covenant right of a believer. Therefore if you are not enjoying it, you have got the right to demand for it, and he won't deny you. And that's what we are going to do here today. Because financial breakthrough is among your redemptive right and heritage in Christ and perfect will of God for his children. God wants us to be rich. The Bible says in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Contextually from that scripture, God was saying, that his perfect plan and wish for believers are good health and financial prosperity. So financial breakthrough is the will and wish of God for his children. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, the Bible says, The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. This simply means that God's concept of a person being blessed, means that such a person must be financially balanced. In the word of the text, it says, rich without sorrows. And one can't talk of being rich without having more than enough financial wealth at his or her disposal. Talking of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Job, and Solomon. The Bible says that God blessed them till they became so rich. In the case of Job, the Bible says, he was the richest in the East by the virtue of God's blessings upon his life. And in the New Testament, Christ affirms wealth and financial breakthrough as God's will and plan for his people. He says, that his coming was for us men to be able to enjoy life in its abundance. And abundance life cannot be possible without money. Money is the means to the truly abundant life that Christ supposes that we enjoy. In John chapter 10 verse 10, it says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. As we pray now, the grace for access to financial breakthrough comes upon you. My listeners, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that you will be able to afford all that you will ever need to live a quality and abundance life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here? Please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. All right, now let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, being that is your will that I prosper and be of good health, Lord, I come unto you this hour with a request for a breakthrough in my finances. So that I will be able to live a worthy and worthwhile life, fitting of one whose Father and God owns the earth and the fullness thereof. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, as your word says in Psalm 75 verses 6 to 7. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge, he putteth down one, and setteth up another. Therefore dear Father Lord, I ask, in the name of Jesus Christ, for financial promotion. Go before me dear Lord today as you promised in Isaiah 45 verses 1 to 3 saying. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings, to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, 
and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Father, that has been your financial plan for me. Therefore dear Lord, go before me now, level every barrier and stumbling blocks on my way to prosperity and financial breakthrough. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give me the treasures of darkness and the richest of the hidden places, for your name's sake and for the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, open me the windows of heaven, and pour out unto me blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rebuke the devourer for my sake, that they do not destroy the fruits of my ground, nor cause my vine to cast her fruit before the time in the field. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do these unto me dear Lord, so that all nations shall call me blessed, till I become delightsome unto all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do unto me dearest Lord, as you promised in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 2 to 13 saying. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee as good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, let all these blessings come upon me and my family and overtake us from every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord for your answer, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let me pray for you. My Father and my God, I am that I am. The Rock of Ages, Everlasting King. Thank you for the life of my listeners. Lord, I ask for them, that you grant them financial breakthroughs in all their businesses and endeavors. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says, There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Therefore dear Heavenly Father, Grant all my listeners their financial desires and expectations in abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, cause the heavens over them to open, so that they may receive the rains of financial abundance and all-round financial increases. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now henceforth, may they never know lack or any form of financial dry season again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let their lives flourish in both material and financial blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and declare financial open door for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare restoration unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, have destroyed in their lives and businesses, I decree and declare hundredfold restoration unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them now always have plenty and abundance to live on. In the name of Jesus Christ. For thou, O Lord, promises us this in Joel chapter 2 verses 25 and 26 saying, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, 
and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Father, let all this be the lots and the heritage of all my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the shames and losses that they have suffered, Lord, give them double. Double wealth, double promotion, double prosperity, double financial increases, double open door in their careers, businesses, aspersions and inspirations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord, for answer, for in Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in the description box. Our prayer warriors will take your request to God. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.